Tonight I'm going to do a tutorial for Harry Potter. I chose the owl and the castle because I love owls. I'm going to use a Santorini watercolor pencils and watercolor markers tonight and my fine liner pen. I started off by tracing the circle and erasing the bottom portion and drawing books. The books, for some reason, were very difficult for me, so you'll see me erasing a lot in here. Even with the ruler, I had a hard time just getting them to look the way I wanted. So be patient, and eventually we'll get a little further in the video. I also um, am going to add a few things at the end of my tutorial that I will post a picture of. So I'm going to finish up my books and then I'm pretty much just going to outline the entire image. I chose this main picture, but I chose the owl from the second picture. So I'm just looking at my images and drawing an outline in pencil. I like to do pencil first and then go back in with my fine liner so that I can erase as many times as I need to. Art is a new thing for me, so I still can't just paint without drawing in pencil first. So I'm gonna draw, then I'm gonna outline everything with my fine liner. First, I did the owl and I just did the basic outline of him and then I'll go back in later and pencil in all his wing detail. Draw the envelope and then I'm gonna go back and just draw the outline for the castle. The castle doesn't have to be exact. I mean, none of it has to be exact in reality, but from the image, I just kind of won the castle because my owl is a little bit taller than the one in the picture. After you finish your castle, then you can go in and use your Tully Art fine liner and trace everything that you drew. And then you can erase. This part of my video is a little bit longer. Well, not longer, but the speed is slower so that you guys could see me drawing in hopes to make it a little bit easier for you instead of it speeding up. Now you can tell it's getting a little bit faster as I'm outlining and the rest of the video will get a little bit faster as we go along to when I'm painting. So while I'm outlining, I want to tell you about the watercolor markers to my left, a purple, a pink, and a blue. These bleed, so you'll see when I am doing the purple and blue and pink around the edges, it, I kind of left a little bit of white because it's going to bleed out. And I'm going to go back in with water and blend the colors together so they don't look very blended now and they'll look a little duller when I'm finished. But I just don't... Um, I didn't have a lot of time tonight to go ahead and use my ink tents and all my watercolor pencils. So when you're just doing a quick background like the sky or the water, I like the watercolor markers. So for the books, I used my ink tents and um, did the books. There's four of them there. And I used a gray for the owl which is a watercolor pencil from Arteza. And I just used another darker shade of gray for his 
talon. I'm going to go back in with a dark watercolor purple. On this one, you'll definitely be able to notice the white that's shining through. As, like I said, it'll bleed. And I'm going to go back in and smear over all of that with a wet brush in just a little bit. After I'm done all of this, I'm going to outline everything with a Posca 1MR. This is to help everything pop so it doesn't all fade into each other. And now I'm adding gray to the background. And this is watercolor marker as well. And I'll go ahead and blend all of that with a wet brush. And now the background is finished. I didn't do this in my video, but I will add some accents and post a picture.